good evening and welcome to our Facebook Live this evening. I hope you are well. I'm just going to move my microphone a bit closer in. Hopefully you can hear me okay. So good evening. It is Thursday the 9th of March. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're watching live, do say hi and let me know that you're here. It's always nice to know who's watching along with us. If you're watching later on replay, whether that is here on Facebook or on the uploaded file to YouTube, then again, you're welcome to say hi. Obviously, I'm not going to respond at the time. But if you have any queries, questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section and I will get back to you in due course if it requires an answer. So if you have joined us for the last two days, you will have seen me make these cards. These are all from the Playing in the Rain stamp set which is this one here, try and keep it out of the reflection. There is a set of matching dies that not only cut out these characters plus the clouds and the flowers, but they also have some additional dies like a bridge for example, so you could have the characters um, hopping over the bridge. I've only bought the stamp set, wishing now that I bought the dies, um, but I can add those to my order. So when you purchase stamps and dies from Stamping Up, if you buy them together when they first come out in the catalogue, you will get 10% discount when you buy them as a bundle. But what you can also do is buy one or the other and then the add the other item on later so sometimes i will order the dies and use those and then think oh actually i like the stamp sets so i'll add that and vice versa so let me show you the cards that we've created so far do say hi if you're watching so this was let me see tuesday's card so very simple i just stamped that cute little bunny on a circle die that I'd cut out. I've got the raindrops embossing folder behind and I stamped the sentiment Oh Happy Day that comes with the set and punched it out with our cloud punch. And I just wrapped a little bit of ribbon. So nice and straightforward. I did add those cute little flowers on the inside and I also added those to the envelope. Not only across the front, <laughs> but also on the back so that was what we did on Tuesday and you can see that on replay yesterday I created this slimline card so we have slimline envelopes that go um, that go with any cards that you create to be slimline um, so we have a pack of these and they come in assorted colours, three different colours. I've chosen a white one and stamped the flowers across the bottom as you can see. And I've created this as a simplified card. There is one in the catalogue that had some ribbon and extra bits and pieces. But we decided um, jointly while I was making this not to include those. And I haven't as yet... Put a sentiment on here because I'm not I haven't decided what occasion this is going to be for I did cut out some of the clouds from the papers so there are matching papers that go with this stamp set that also have the characters on so if you're not keen on coloring in you could just fussy cut or die cut the characters from the papers so for our coffee and card tomorrow monday and tuesday we are doing these cute little cards and we're also going to do a card with a bookmark so these are the three characters that i've stamped and colored in and we've got some embossed panels for the background with one of our 
new sets of embossing folders so this has got some cute dots and this has got a crisscross pattern not sure how much of that you can actually see in this light to be honest you can probably see the dots i suspect quite clearly and then um, I've done this one with the fox. Wasn't happy about the colouring. I felt the fox was a little bit too dark. I'd use Cajun craze, and I think I would have been better with pumpkin, oops, pumpkin pie or calypso coral, just a lighter tone. Um, but he will still do. So we're going to make these, and then we're also going to make a bookmark card. And I've I don't ever remember making one of these before so I am winging it slightly <laughs> so I'm still going to use a square card and I haven't decided which side of this paper I'm going to use this is our gingham um, cottage paper and I've cut a layer that's going to go onto our card and I've got a little sentiment and then what I'm going to do is create a little corner bookmark that's going to tuck over the edge here and it's then removable so you send the card with the bookmark and then the recipient can take the bookmark off and um, use that so as I say I haven't actually decided which side I'm going to use apart from the fact that the size of circle that I've got here is probably only going to work with the tortoise because these are quite big you could obviously make a bigger um, definitely make a bigger card or you could utilize and cut out some of the characters from the papers because some of the other characters are smaller so i'm just going to stamp this and i think i'll probably use the green side because that obviously coordinates nicely with our tortoise. So I'm just going to stamp that onto here. And this is going to be layered onto our bookmark. And corner bookmark is really easy to create. So um, you can do them any size. This particular size is six inches by six inches or 15 centimeters, give or take. And all you need to do, you don't even need to measure it. You just want to take a square piece of designer paper or card, fold it in half one way, open it up and fold it in half in the other direction. I really should take my glasses off, I think, to do this like so. And you can fold those together and you just want some really nice creases so you don't get too much bulk on here and all you're going to do is attach these pieces together so that you end up with a um, little corner that sits on here hi Teresa like so obviously this will be stuck down now what you can actually do is fold this piece back so let's have a look and see what that looks like you can actually fold all of it back if you want to but I'm just going to try this so I'm just folding this corner back So that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my cute little tortoise on here. And then if I just show you what it's going to look like. You're going to pop it onto the corner of your card like so. So you can either have that folded back or you can leave it flat like that entirely up to you i think i'm going to fold it back just for a little bit of interest so what i'm going to do is adhere this piece down let's 
get the right bit so I can just seal that bit for there using your glue of choice I don't know what weather you've got up there Teresa whether you've got this snow and everything that's um, crossing the country now there's lots of different variations of this um, so I can glue this piece back here as well I'm going to do Okay, so you want to make sure, obviously, that you're leaving part of this open to pop onto your card, like so. And you could, you could do it either way. So it's really up to you. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to colour my tortoise in and then just attach this piece of card to this folded back piece and then you can either choose to tuck the whole thing onto the card or just a part of it and I'm going to pop this layer on underneath so you'll get if I just put these two together you'll get that effect like so he'll be a bit further up and our little sentiment so I'm just going to color this in really quickly and I'm actually going to add a little hello sentiment which I've got here from uh, forever fern it's a nice cute little hello and I'm hoping I'm going to stamp this fairly straight so we had a fair bit of snow but um, a fair bit of rain this afternoon. Hi Babsy. Oh Teresa's got snow. Bless you. Okay, so there's my little hello that's going to go into there. Babsy, I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us. And I'm just going to colour this um, cute little chap in. So this is mint macaron. So I'm going to use some of that colour for my tortoise and this is sweet sorbet so I'm going to use that for my flower so let us do that this is light sweet sorbet it's a small flower so I'm going to put a little gem in the middle but it's very very cute there we go like that and then I'm going to use dark and mint, uh, light mint macaron. And tortoises can be um, quite grey. So I messed up with my friend Annabelle today. She has two miniature tiny little tortoises. And we were looking at photographs of them and they're quite um, brown. You tend to think of them as green and yellow, but they are quite brown. So I'm just going to do this with mint macaron. But really you could use any green, any brown that you've got. It's not a, a colouring masterclass. So there's his body. I think I'll do his head in a similar colour. So this um, pen here has been going since July 2018. So coming up for, well, five years, good four and a half years. So obviously it depends on how much you use them. Some of my pens obviously get used extensively. I suspect mint macaron is not one that gets used as much as some of the others. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that little bit in there and then give him a little bit of a brown and green shade. 
towel and perhaps a little brown arms and legs. So this is dark crumb cake. I've got light crumb cake. Hi Scylla, I hope you're well. That's dark crumb cake. Uh, it's just got a... I'll just do that for now. Got light crumb cake here somewhere. I used earlier, there we go, it's just slipped out of the box. There we go. Hi Zana, hope you're well. Good evening to you. Just having fun with these little characters from Playing in the Rain. There we go. And if you had some little googly eyes, if you wanted to, you could add them. Okay, so there's our body and everything. And then I'm going to do dark crumb cake and light crumb cake for the shell. So I hope everybody's had a good day and not suffering too much with the weather. As I say, we had snow overnight and this morning up till about lunchtime. And then we've had some rain this afternoon. So that's got rid of most of it, but not all. Hi, Babsy. So I'm just using this one here. So this is a light crumb cake, but you'll see from my other cars I've done um, lots of variations. So really you could just use what you've got at home to be honest. They are sweet aren't they? Okay, so this is going to be our little bookmark here. And then I'm going to pop this on here. So this is going to be our project for coffee and card. So the ladies and gents are going to make one card and a bookmark card if they want to. Or they could make two cards if they prefer. What's not to love in a bookmark card? Okay, so I'm going to pop this on and I'm going to make sure that I only adhere with this on the top section here. So what I'm going to do is just position that and then I'm going to find my little pencil. I'm going to mark there, there and there. And know that I only want my glue to be in that section. So I'm just going to pop some glue in like that. Take out that bit that I've just over glued. So. And rub out my pencil mark. So, you could also put this on with dimensionals, but I think if you're putting it in a book, even if it's on the front, I'm lost, you can tuck it in the centre of a larger book. You don't want anything too bulky in there. Just going to get rid of that extra bit of glue. I got a bit carried away, so I'm just using a good quality rubber to lift that out. And obviously you could use plain card, it doesn't have to be patterned paper, but you don't want it too thick. So, make sure he's standing straight, like so. 
so that's going to go onto there like that and then I'm just going to add this little sentiment with some small dimensionals Oops, lazy. I managed to catch my finger on an open staple this afternoon so this is why I've got a plaster on my finger So my little hello is going to go up in here, like so, and that is it. So you can put a sentiment on the inside, so that's the little bookmark element. Now you can do other things with this, so you could fold this back if you want to, you could fold the whole thing back either side and have it as just a triangle I quite like it with a little bit more bulk to hold on to the page um, rather than it sort of disappearing out and that's it there's our cute card with a bookmark so I hope you like it whether you need to put directions on to the recipient to say remove this bookmark, I don't know. I suppose it depends on um, your recipient really. So just to show you the other designs that we've got for coffee and cards. So tomorrow, Friday, we're in Brackley. Monday, we're in Toaster in the afternoon. And Tuesday morning, we're in Brackley. So we're making those ones. I didn't add a little um, bit of bling. Let's see what I've got here. It's really the wrong, it's the wrong pink. Let's just use a plain one. Yes, it was a bit painful. It wasn't too bad, but it's... Um, and we should have to stem the bleeding, that was the thing. So let's just pop um, this little sort of pinky one here in the middle. There we go. And so there he is, our finished little bookmark. So I hope you can join us for coffee and card. I know that's a little bit plain, so you could um, add another circle and another one underneath it if you wanted to um, just that you've got both whether that would be too bulky I don't know is that the same size yes that's the same size so technically you could do that that'd be quite sweet actually so you've got one underneath and then you could take this one off and you'd still have that so maybe I'll do that maybe I'll stamp one up color it and pop it in the corner so there we go hi Tracy long time no see I hope you're well so yeah I think I'm going to do that actually put put another one um, underneath so that when you've taken this off you've still got a sweet little card with our cute little um, tortoise and if you missed any of the others, this is our slimline card that I did yesterday using the papers. And then just a simple card that I did on Tuesday with the rabbit, as you can see, and then the raindrop embossing folder. So, I hope you like our design. I always like a bit of gingham paper. I thought that would work particularly well with this. So thank you for joining us. I hope you like our design. I hope you have a great evening. Glad to hear you're well, Tracy. And um, we're all done. And in time. That's a bit of a miracle, isn't it? So I am going to pop a, um, a circle and do that inside. I might use, possibly use a smaller circle and have it in place. Um, I'll just have a, a play around and see. See whether the 
tortoise will fit on a smaller one. So thank you everybody. Um, this is Thursday, I can't believe it already. Um, I will be releasing our class in a box. I've got um, three cards designed. I've got another two just to finalise which ones I'm going to use. I've got two fancy folds. Um, so I'm really looking forward to releasing those. So um, watch out for that information this weekend. And I've also got my buy one get one free on Sunday afternoon. So if you're Sunday morning even. So if you're local to me in Brackley, I'll be at Evenly Village Hall, half past 10 to 12 o'clock. And you can take advantage of my buy one get one free. Thank you so much everyone. Enjoy your evening. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. I'll be back Monday morning for our next bout of life crafting. But I will be showing you the projects for our class in the box over the weekend. So watch out for that. Thanks so much. Take care now. Bye bye.